So should women lift weights? I got six things that's gonna start happening to you and your body when you start lifting weights, coming up. What is up, For Faith Nation? Thank you for tuning into the video again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing because I talk about weight loss and fat loss, and that is it. My only goal is to help you get out of the funk of trying to lose weight. For women, the very best tip on this video is gonna be number six. I'm really excited about telling that to you because I just think that's gonna fuel you to want to lift weights. So stick around for number six. So let's jump right into it. What's gonna start happening to your body when you lift weights? Well, the first thing is what's not going to happen to your body and that is that you're not going to get big and bulky. Um, a lot of women, my, the most common misconception that I hear is that women are afraid to lift weights because they're afraid they're gonna gain all this muscle. Well, men, try so hard, my first thing against that to, to make you feel a little bit more comfortable with it is men try so hard to gain all that muscle. I literally have lifted for years to gain all that muscle and I have yet to do it. I mean, I'm not small by any means. I probably don't have the body that a woman would want, but still I have tried, tried and tried and tried and you know, it's hard to gain muscle. It's not like you're gonna go in there, do some curls with five pound weights and boom, your arms are gonna be huge. Like you're gonna have plenty of time, if anything even were to happen, to realize, hey, I'm gaining a little bit more muscle than I'd like. It, it doesn't just happen like that. The testosterone required to gain muscle just simply isn't there for women. Don't get me wrong, you're definitely gonna gain muscle. You're, you're for sure gonna build muscle, but this is what women who lift muscle are going to actually look like. And this is just a, some images from bodybuilding.com um, and, and literally bodybuilding.com. All these women do is lift weights. These are women trainers, these are women lifters, and this is what they look like. The main thing to remember here is the density of the tissue. And so if you lose a pound and gain a pound, so lose a pound of fat, gain a pound of muscle, you're actually gonna end up smaller. And so if you do gain muscle, which you probably will gain a little bit of muscle, you're probably also going to lose an equivalent amount of fat, if not more fat than than the muscle that you gained. So you might lose 10 pounds of fat and gain five pounds of muscle, and you will actually still be smaller. You're just gonna have a harder look. You're gonna have a more toned look. What's really desired for more women than they might realize is that look, and from the pictures I just showed you, that's kind of what I'm talking about. All right, so number two, the thing that is going to happen is confidence. You're gonna start gaining confidence in the gym and outside of the gym because it's more of a badassness that comes along with weightlifting instead of just doing cardio endlessly and not really feeling any more fit, you're gonna feel more like a badass. You're gonna gain that confidence. That's gonna be in the gym and outside of the gym where you're just gonna feel awesome. And that awesome feeling is what keeps you going. That awesome feeling is what makes this lifestyle so fun. And really without lifting, you never get the full effect of that. Some people might fall in love with running, but I'm telling you, until they try lifting and they start feeling the effects of how awesome their body can become, they haven't gotten the full experience of loving this lifestyle. Style. The main thing with the confidence is that you will have a better shape. So you're gonna tone up, you're gonna look more shapely, which is what most women desire anyway. Most people, if they could lose all that weight and just become skinny, would realize that's not really what they were going for. Is it better than where they were? Sure, but it's not what they were going for. You do want shape to you. That is what a healthy human body looks like. It has shape to it, and that's where the lifting comes in. If all you do is cardio, you're just gonna end up losing that fat, and then you're just gonna be, I don't know if you've ever heard the term skinny fat. You you can kind of look it up and just see examples of it. And it's kind of a demeaning term, so I don't really like it. But um, people who are skinny fat, are they're, they don't really have a lot of body fat, but they also don't have much muscle. So everything that is there is still fat, and they're kind of fat but skinny at the same time. Again, I don't really like the word, but it is a good example to illustrate this point. You don't want to be skinny fat. You want to be shapely. You want to, be, you want to have that dense look about you, which again is like those women that I showed you just a couple minutes ago. Number three is you get to eat all the carbs. Kind of, sort of. But you get to eat a bunch of carbs. And so uh, a lot of women fear, and men, you know, both genders fear carbs and will that make you fat? What's that going to do? Because the media has made carbs turn out, you know, they've made it seem like they are the reason we are all fat, the sugar and the carbs. Um, and, you know, it may or may not be. That's for a different video. But for this video, you can definitely eat more carbs. You have to fuel your workouts. If you're going in the gym and lifting at a high intensity and you're really giving it your all, and I'm not just saying lifting the three pound dumbbells and doing curls and going over the machines and using light weights. I'm saying lifting like a man. If you are lifting intense, you need to fuel that workout. You have to have carbs. Your body's gonna suck up all those carbs like sponges. It's gonna use them for energy and you're not gonna have to worry about those carbs being converted to fat. 
Number four, and you've heard me say this in my other videos before, more muscle equals more calories. So whenever you start lifting, you are gonna gain more muscle, not a whole bunch for reasons just discussed, but um, you are gonna have more muscle and you're gonna be burning more calories naturally while you sit, while you watch TV, while you sleep. You're gonna be burning more calories because muscle takes a lot of energy just to maintain, just to sit there. It's a very inefficient type of tissue, it requires a lot of energy to keep it going. And so if you have a little bit more muscle, it doesn't have to be all that much. If you have 10 pounds more muscle, you're going to look way better and you're going to be burning a lot more calories while doing nothing, which then leads to whenever you do go to lose weight again in the future or right now, currently, whatever your situation is, it's going to be so much easier because you're going to be Let's say it takes 2,000 calories for you to lose weight right now or to maintain weight right now. Then whenever you gain 10 pounds of muscle, it's going to take you 2,400 calories a day to maintain weight. And now you're going to actually be able to lose weight on what you used to be able to maintain weight on. And that is an awesome problem to have. So number five is osteoporosis prevention. This might not be something that's super important to you right now, but women are at higher risk for osteoporosis, which is a thinning of the bones or weakening of the bones that lead to breakages, the old woman breaking her hip, falling and breaking her hip, that's kind of uh, a result of women having a higher prevalence of osteoporosis. Men can get it too, but women for sure, almost all women, if they don't do something about it, are going to have brittle bones when they get older. But if you lift, and especially if you start now, it doesn't really matter how old you are, if you start now and, and you lift up until you are older, you will have these nice thick bones. That is because the body realizes in order to continue this stress on the frame of the body, the bones have to get bigger to prevent breakages. And so they will literally get thicker. And like if there is a murder investigation or something and there's bones dug up, they can tell if the person was a construction worker or was like manual labor of some sort, a bodybuilder, based off how thick their bones are. If they have really brittle bones, you know, that could mean disease. It could also mean sedentary lifestyle. It could mean lots of things. And that's because whenever a person lifts or whenever they have a physical lifestyle of some sort, the stress on the body builds up those bones and preventing those falls is something that is so, so helpful. Um, preventing those, those breakages during falls. So again, that might not be something you're super interested in now, but I promise you will not regret later having nice, strong bones and not having to worry about whenever you fall breaking a bone. And now for number six, the one that I was kind of excited about to tell you, it is empowering yourself. And that sounds really cliche. It sounds kind of lame, but give me a second to explain. When women do things that men are supposed to do, it's kind of, I mean, I, I imagine that that would kind of feel cool, you know, like it's it's silly but whenever all the groceries are in the back of the car you know being able to carry all those up in one trip like men are like i'm gonna carry them all up one trip um that's really out of laziness but it is kind of cool to be able to carry all those groceries i know that might sound lame but imagine doing that yourself or your husband boyfriend whatever not having to help you or being able to move the furniture around you know more easily and just empowering yourself and just telling people you know what i'm i'm a badass i got this I'm just, you know, I'm not a weak little girl. Um, and, and, you know, whether that stereotype is correct or not, whether it's a good thing or not, I should say, um, it is still a stereotype. And if you can break through that stereotype, that has to feel good. I can only imagine how good that would feel to break away from that stereotype and carry up all those groceries. So bottom line, if you aren't lifting, you're holding yourself back. Your badassness and your health will thank you for it. So get in the gym and start lifting. If you don't know how to lift, that is what a personal trainer like me, online personal training is for. I can be in your pocket, on your phone, all the time, giving you workouts, showing you what to do, showing you how to do them with exercise videos. It is awesome having the motivation and accountability of having a trainer in your pocket seven days a week. So if you are ready to start your fitness journey, go to forfaithfitness.com to start your free two week trial of online personal training. And I'm telling you, it's awesome. You just got to experience it. You may as well try it because the first two weeks are free. So that is all for this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up, share the video and subscribe to the channel to help support us. Have a great rest of your day. God bless.